Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, here we go. This is a look at Pismo Beach and uh, yeah, the waves decreased a little bit yesterday. We had a high surf advisor. We saw some morning offshore winds breezy today up the Cuesta grade. The Napomo area was windy. Shell Beach locally breezy offshore that lasted much of the morning hours drove very nice daytime highs. However, we're going to go pretty low for those lows again and the weekend looks warm. So we'll talk about that coming up. Current conditions around the area. By the way, look at the southbound traffic just crawling through San Luis Obispo right now. We're at 74. It's 73 in Santa Maria, still 80 in Paso Robles and 70 in Santa Barbara. As I said earlier, Paso Robles this morning, 31 degrees in a few spots out in the interior. I actually saw temperatures dropping into the upper 20s. I've been talking about it for a couple of days. No frost advisory, but again, tonight will be close. I don't think as cold uh, because again, the trend for this weekend is going to be up a little bit. You can see easterly winds pass a robust San Luis right now. They're onshore at 17 miles per hour, 14 Santa Maria West 16 in Lobo. Be on KSBY hashtag. Just want to show you some of these pictures. You'll really see more of this orange and reddish glow to quite a few of them because of the increased particulates from statewide fire. Cindy's picture here of the coastline sunset last night was amazing. Our sunset coming up soon. Can't wait to see your pictures. Hashtag be on KSBY. Hourly forecast for Paso Robles tomorrow. Again, not quite as cold. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 30s overnight and back up into the mid 80s tomorrow. And we jump up rather quickly. It's already 72 degrees by noon tomorrow in Paso Robles. Pioneer days up in Paso Robles this weekend. Going to be pretty fun. San Luis Obispo temperatures working toward 90 degrees tomorrow. In fact, we're 73 by 10 o'clock in the morning. Offshore winds there, you can see about eight, seven, eight miles per hour, but I think they'll be locally gusty. So some places we'll see offshore winds around San Luis Obispo at 20 and even 25 miles per hour. Quest to grade 41 quarter French Hospital, Shell Beach, Napomo, places like that. That's how some of the breezes today we will see breezes again morning offshore tomorrow. Santa Maria true as well. We do turn the winds around later in the afternoon, but after daytime highs that could be close to 90 degrees. Just want to show you the modeling here. You'll notice there are a lot of gaps here where those offshore winds will not be really strong. I do think the general push is about 5 to 15, but there will be a lot of places where those winds are as strong as 20. Now tonight across Santa Barbara County passes Canyon South Coast. We're going to see some of those winds as high as 30 and 35 miles miles per hour, low relative humidities into tomorrow morning has prompted fire weather warnings in the area. This is a look at Saturday afternoon. See how those winds are still offshore. They do turn onshore for a bit later on Saturday, but go offshore again Saturday night into Sunday, setting the stage for what is going to be a very warm weekend. You can see there on the forecast on the bottom of your screen. Lynch fire again, B Rock, San Antonio here, the old chimney fire off to the west, and you can see just tracking some of those airdrops today. Fire weather warning in place through Saturday morning for those gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Air quality is bad in the Central Valley, but also Santa Barbara County has issued an advisory. So is Slow County, Northern California fire weather warnings in place again. This is not a good situation. We're going to see the winds deteriorate, so it's going to actually pick up there. Going to be warm there. Ridge of high pressure building in for the upcoming weekend and those offshore winds locally gusty. Uh, and this is one other note. So yesterday I said there's a chance of rain on Wednesday. Just want to show you the same model decided to change its mind. In fact, Wednesday looks dry. If anything, probably a little bit of ridging in the area, which is the opposite of the pattern that would produce rainfall. So models flip flopping. But again, when you get out to the deep extended forecast, they do that. A lot of warm temperatures tomorrow, mid 80s and possibly mid 90s for some. Santanez Valley could be close south coast near 90. Cuyama 80 degrees, five cities temperatures. You'll note those overnight lows, upper 40s and low 50s. Those may occur early and then temperatures may rise toward morning. Interior temperatures in the 30s tonight. I don't have anybody at freezing overnight tonight. Extended forecast trend up through Sunday down next week, really more so down as we get into the middle of next week when the marine layer returns. Stay there. We're back after this. Kate Blanchett, 